inside the luxurious life of Drake. Drake, a Canadian-born actor, producer, and rapper with a whopping net worth of $200 million, is one of the wealthiest rappers and youngest by 10 years. Drake also appeared on a Canadian teen drama Degrassi The Next Generation. Since gaining success through rapping, he has earned around $430 million before taxes. In this video, we're going to show you the luxurious life of Drake. Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you get notified every time we upload a new video. Aubrey Drake Graham was born on October 24, 1986, in Toronto, Ontario. His father, Dennis Graham, of African-American origin, performed as a drummer alongside the legendary rock and roller pioneer Jerry Lee Lewis. That made Drake's heart beat on music rhythms. When Drake was only five years old, his parents divorced, and he continued to live with his mother, Sandy Graham, in Toronto, first in the city's working-class end, and later in the affluent Jewish neighborhood Forest Hill. In his music video for the hit song God's Plan, he generously spends the entire budget of $1 million. Like many hip-hop artists, Drake goes well beyond his music and makes the dollars like Kanye West with all his famous Yeezy and Dr. Dre's Beats by Dre. Drake also has a successful clothing line, a partnership with the Toronto Raptors, and numerous endorsement deals. He also has many real estate properties, with the latest of them making highlights in the video to Ste Slide. Drake owns a luxurious mansion in Hidden Hills, California. Though it was listed for $27 million in 2009, the rapper kept his eyes on it and waited until the price dropped to $7.7 .7 million in 2012 to buy it. The 12,500 square feet property boasts a mighty pool with a cave and waterfalls, soaring ceilings with arched wood beams, a hot tub with an adjacent fireplace, a built-in library, game room, wine cellar, a basketball court, and a movie theater. A total bargain, right? Drake's Toronto mansion is a visual feast, and in 2020, GQ estimated that the property was worth $150 million. He spared no expense on the interiors, lining them with limestone, bronze, and exotic woods. Since he built it in his own hometown, Drake told Architectural Digest he wanted the structure to stand for 100 years. The mansion features amenities such as an NBA regulation size indoor basketball court, but instead of vast expanses, of cheap drywall and mountains of ungainly furniture upholstered with a hot glue gun, stately Drake Manor, as envisioned by Canadian architectural and interior designer Ferris Raffali, every detail of the sprawling property has been meticulously conceived and executed. The furnishings throughout the room were all custom designed by Raffali in materials that range from dyed ostrich skin and mohair to macassar and bronze. Drake's favorite spot in the house is his 3,200 square foot master bedroom suite with an additional 1,100 square feet of covered terraces. The rapper clearly values a good night's sleep, and to prove it, he shelled out $400,000 on a Hastings Grand Bividus bed. Ferris Raffali, the designer and artist behind Drake's 50,000 square foot mansion, collaborated with premium Swedish bed maker Hastings to produce the mattress. The bed is layered with more horsetail hair, wool, cotton, flax, and Swedish pine than any of its predecessors, and it's said to last 50 to 100 years. And he spends heavily on his attires, too. Drake was featured on The Unknown Vlogs, a YouTube channel that breaks down the cost of people's outfits. It revealed that the rapper wore an almost million-dollar outfit after wrapping up his assassination vacation tour gig at the O2 in London in 2019. The rapper broke down each piece 11 thousand dollar custom Briani jacket inscribed with Briani of Aubrey Graham. Tom Ford pieces consisting of a polo neck, trousers, and crocodile shoes worth $2,000, $1,000, and $15,000 respectively. A custom diamond chain for $200,000, and that is superstardom at its best. When Drake flaunted his mansion, he also showcased his collection of Hermes Birkin bags, carefully displayed on a two-story wardrobe. According to Hollywood reporter, he's been collecting Hermes for his future spouse. Although there was no mention of the price, the bags cost anywhere from forty dollars to $500,000. 
and when Drizzy travels, he does so in style. Artists are known to own several luxury cars. However, Drake is better known for his private jets. In 2019, he was reported to buy a Boeing 676, which was later customized and named Air Drake. The jet alone cost him about $100 million, and he had to pay an additional $280 million for the customization. Drake's first car was an Acura TSX. As trade-ups go, making a move from an Acura to a Bugatti Veyron hypercar is quite Quite the move. Inspired by the Bugatti Type 57S Atlantic from the mid-1930, only 12 Sang Noir editions were made, and they cost $2.2 million back in 2010. It sounds pricey until you look at the top-line stats. It featured an 8.0-liter quad-turbocharged W16 engine that created 987 horsepower and was capable of hitting 62 miles per hour inside 2.5 seconds and would keep going to a top speed of 253 miles per hour. And Drake had the only one in Canada. In the video for Started from the Bottom, Drake recalls his early, less financially viable days as he is filmed wearing all white, wrapping next to an ice white Bentley Continental GTC in the snow. However, in real life, Drake would never be so irresponsible. Imagine the cleaning bill. Drizzy owned a super sports version that, at that time, was the fastest convertible Bentley had ever produced and would accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds and eventually reach 202 miles per hour. The rapper also owns a Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren, a Brabus 850, Rolls-Royce Wraith, Mercedes Maybach S600 Pullman, Ferrari LaFari, McLaren 675 LT, Lamborghini Aventador Roadster, Bentley Mulsanne, Devil 16, Mercedes Maybach 650 Landaulet, and Mansory Rolls-Royce Phantom. Drake is the second most streamed artist of all time on Spotify. It's helpful that he's been rapping since 2003. He signed with Lil Wayne's Young Money label in 2002 with a $2 million advance. All of the songs from Drake's 2018 album Scorpion charted on the Billboard Hot 100 as well as his 2017 album More Life. Scorpion also became the first album ever to gain over 1 billion streams on Spotify within its first week of release. His song on the album God's Plan was also the most streamed song of 2018. Drake celebrated his 33rd birthday covered in diamond accessories. His jewelry included a necklace, custom Drake bracelet, and gigantic rings, one of which was a $150,000 homage to the Raptors, his favorite basketball team. As a birthday gift to himself, he purchased a $500,000 22-carat heart-shaped ring set in platinum. Drake also spends money to make money. He is a businessman. The rapper has released his second mixtape through his self-launched record label known as October's Very Own, or OVO. This business has grown, and Warner Brothers distributes OVO Sound. It represents famous artists like Party Next Door, Majid Jordan, and Cash Doll. OVO is now an umbrella company for its clothing line, record label, and radio station. Drake has also been a brand ambassador for several prestigious brands. He has worked with Apple and landed an incredible $19 million deal with Apple Music which was launched. The rapper also is the brand ambassador of the NBA's Toronto Raptors due to his love for the game. Apart from spending money on himself, Drake donates a fortune for the needy. When he isn't sticking his closet full of Bergens, he's given thousands away. He visited Miami and donated at least $200,000 during a charity spree that began while he was shooting the music video for God's Plan at Miami Senior High School. He donated $25,000 to the school along with school uniforms from his own clothing line. He went on to surprise a University of Miami major with a $50,000 donation towards her tuition, along with donating $10,000 to the school's music program, which serves Miami communities. He 
also paid for $50,000 worth of groceries at Sabre Tropical Supermarket where he got on the megaphone and announced that he was picking up the bill for everyone who happened to be in the store. It was part of his music video for God's Plan and gave residents of the Lotus Village homeless shelter $50,000 toward the facility and $150 gift cards. With his latest album, Certified Lover Boy, still topping the charts, Drizzy has already cemented his legendary status in the rap game, and the money is following really quick. So what is your favorite Drake song? Let us know in the comments section below, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to check out more videos on our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.